Hello boys and girls. Recently, I seem to have had an influx of people asking me about drumming injuries or drumming based injuries, uh, telling me they've got things like tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, wrist strains, all this sort of thing. And you know, they think drumming's the culprit. And they're probably quite right, because it's very common. Uh, what I can't offer you is sort of advice specifically on your technique or your positioning and things like this, because obviously I can't fucking see you because this is a video. But what I can offer you is some basic stretches, which I bet you're not doing. I bet when you practice drums or play a gig or whatever, you just go on and you just fucking go at it, right? And we can't really do that because... Uh, because old age happens and uh, you get old and ugly like me, uh, bits start falling off you if you don't start looking after yourself. So I'm going to invite you to do this, even if you're like really young and supple and flexible and you think you're fucking invincible, you're not. So get this in your life and, uh, and you won't, won't fall to pieces when you get old. So first things first, we're going to do some forearm stretches to start with. Um, I should mention, actually, we should do full body stretches, really, but I'm not going to talk about all of this because we'll be here all day. We're going to talk about the main culprits for these injuries. So, forearm stretch. We're going to take the thumb under here of your opposite hand, and we're simply, so this way, simply going to pull our hand down thusly, and we are going to get a big old stretch all the way up here, and all these tendons and muscles and things that run to the top of your forearm. You're going to hold that for about 10 seconds, 15 seconds, whatever, until you feel like you've got a nice stretch. And you're going to come out of it, sorry, super gently. So don't just ping it back because you're out yourself. Uh, then we can do the other side. So turn this way again. Put my arm at a bit of a right angle here. We could do probably 45, whatever, as long as it's a bit of an angle. We can take the hand and we're going to do a pull back in this direction. And I'm trying to hold the palm of my hand there as well as just my fingers. And we're going to get a pull all down this side. So we're sort of stretching those out equally. Uh, and now this is the one, that, this was a real game changer for me a few years back. I used to get a horrible shooting pain all down my, my wrist every time I hit my snare. Uh, and I went to a specialist and he told me, oh, you've just got a really inflexible wrist and you want to do this. And it really sorted me out. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my hand through here. So I've got three fingers this side of my thumb. I've got my index finger through here and my thumb the other side. And what I'm doing is sort of an external rotation like this. So I'm just trying to twist my wrist that way, sort of away from me. Okay, and I'm getting such a big pull. Even I've been doing this for donkey's years and I still get a big, big stretch all through here. And sometimes I can even feel it up here. Okay, so that's a really, really good one. And then you wanna go kind of the opposite way as well. So simply just take hand and it's probably easier to do it upright actually. And then you just rotate it thusly. And again, big old stretch all through your forearm there. Like I say, I must reiterate, there are so many other stretches you really probably should be doing, uh, you know, because obviously everything's connected, hopefully. Uh, so your neck and your back and your bloody hip flexors and all this kind of stuff. They're all prone to get injured and things when we're playing drums because it's obviously very, very repetitive motions in a seated position, but Trust me, if you're not doing those particular ones, which I bet you're not, those will really, really help to just maintain your forearm and wrist health. So get on it. Let me know how it goes. See you soon.